it maintained like a, like a Swiss watch. You go and see uh, people like it. Again, this is a very important period in the history of aviation and that's probably why it's called the golden age of aviation. And uh, one of the uh, Virginia Airlines of America, called Transcontinental and Western Airlines, TWA, later it became Trans World Airlines, Transcontinental and Western's boss uh, was named Jack Fry. Jack Fry went to see uh, Los Angeles again. He young uh, Douglas and his team of engineers, including one genius called Jack Northrop, designed that wonder. They gave him a pair of Pratt & Whitney engines very reliable. It was said that if you threw stones to these engines, they would be able to change back in terms of dust, but still deliver more. And uh, seven, America, Dakota, in, here in England, uh, these were the aircraft which uh, made uh, winning the war possible for the Allied forces. To the point that at the end of the war, when uh, the journalist asked uh, Mike Eisenhower, saying what were the most important weapons of the war, and uh, Eisenhower mentioned the bazooka, the jeep, all the airlines around the world went shopping, saying, "Okay, we start to do operating, to to start operating again," and. Uh, Logically, they did what uh, Travers died at dawn. Instead of buying military aircraft for the fuel they had in, they went on to buy military aircraft to use them as civilian aircraft. And there were scores of DC-3. Let me be personal again. My dad at the time was a uh, of the boss of the Air France. In 1946, they went to uh, the American Embassy in Paris signed the check and they were in the So they took their cars, went to another office where they had all the books of the aircraft and the and selected the dozen aircraft in roughly the same address in terms of radio equipment and the press and back and forth and the former country. Then they took their cars, they had selected the numbers of the aircraft written on the tables. They took their cars and, and traveled around the base with, a, with, 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 with paint, white paint and a and, and, and They did exactly the same, and, and Italia did exactly the same, and, uh, and Lufthansa. Every airline in the world went shopping to America and brought back this magnificent sky ships and put them to good use and transform the world into uh, a flying right, saying as well that the DC-3 was actually the first aircraft or the first uh, yes the first aircraft to see a proper business class service and sure. it was Cambrian Airways from uh, I think it was from uh, Wales through Southampton through to Paris hmm? in the 60s late 60s that had uh, a business class fit on the aircraft and that's all it was for and the stewardess. And a stewardess. The stewardess yeah. was born with the DC-3. Yeah. American Airlines uh, of the 30s introduced, because of these flights across America from west to east coast and, and back, 
uh, they introduced uh, in-flight service uh, as a regular and standard uh, equipment. And so this tree is smiling, which is true. Upward. It's like a friendly dog, isn't it? Absolutely. Like your, your, your best friendly dog.